Good Monday morning, ABATE of Illinois. Uh, we have been talking about the helmet bill for a few days now. We are nearing in on almost 1,000 slips in opposition to Representative Didich's mandatory helmet bill, but I don't think that's nearly going to be enough. We need to keep stacking slips on it, keep showing disapproval with it. The one thing I will say about the slips is that this has gone nationwide. Uh, Friday, I spent way more time talking to people out of the state of Illinois than I did in the state of Illinois. I heard from Ohio, I heard from Indiana, I heard from Wisconsin, I heard from Minnesota, um, I heard from Missouri. Uh, a lot of people are concerned with this bill because Illinois is a national destination when it comes to motorcycle tourism. And to that end, we even heard from Biker Pack of Oregon who told us that they immediately contacted the Illinois Department of Tourism to express displeasure with Representative Didich's bill. Um, that shows you how far this reaches, but we need to let more people know. More people need to understand that, yes, this is a very serious bill. Yes, Representative Didich does not appear to care that it is unconstitutional, does not appear to care that the Illinois Supreme Court ruled that helmet bills are not good for the state of Illinois, um, and he intends on moving forward with this from what we can tell. So, with that said, you know, I mentioned the national tourism thing. Right here in Springfield, in addition to the Springfield Mile, we have the National Biker Roundup happening this year. It is going to be at the end of July, first weekend in August. It's right here in Springfield. It is a gathering of thirty to 40,000 predominantly African-American motorcyclists that come in from all over the U.S. for this event. And now they may be faced with the prospect of having to wear a helmet, unfortunately, due to Representative Didich. So, what can we do for right now? Right now, keep stacking the slips. Keep sharing these videos. Go right to the website that's listed right next to me. Go to abate-il.org slash helmet. Right there, we'll have the latest witness slip, instructions for filling out the witness slip, some of the questions we've got. Can we fill out a witness slip if we don't live in Illinois? Absolutely. This bill affects everybody. What if I'm not a member of ABATE or a state motorcycle rights organization or a national MRO? Put whatever organization you are a part of. If you are part of a motorcycle club, feel free to put that club down. If you are just an independent rider who is sick of government mandates, put that down. You can put that right down in the firm title agency Put that information down. The only key is, under representation, make sure you put self. Now, everybody has asked, why have we not started making phone calls yet? That's coming. Um, I will point out to you, legislators don't come back into session until tomorrow. And believe me, this is going to be talked about tomorrow down at the State House. Uh, I am hoping to get a meeting with the chairman of the Transportation Vehicle Safety Committee to talk about this bill and see what else can be done, but it is absolutely time for motorcyclists to stand up for their freedom to choose the type of safety gear that they choose to wear versus a government mandate, because government mandates just simply don't work. Education and incentivization, they're incentivizing, that does work. We even had the governor of the state of Illinois say last week when it came to emissions things that he prefers education and incentivizing versus mandates, and I'm hoping that he's going to hold to that should this bill unfortunately make it all the way to his desk. But we're going to do our best to make sure that it doesn't get that far, and we can only do that with your support. So please keep sharing the videos, keep going to the website, donate, join if you're not already a member, and file those witness slips and stay tuned for more actions. Until then, I will be talking to you all later this week.